As you can see, Mr. Pope's not alone in his desire for something opposed to the conventional type of home, and at Cubitt's Yacht Basin, only a few miles from London, one finds a floating village. Here, a happy community has created all the warmth and comfort of family life and home in little boats that once sailed to Dunkirk and in larger craft that have sailed the Atlantic. Mrs. Anne Griffiths has lived on a converted motor launch for two years, but her son Stephen will grow up in this picturesque serenity. Even in practical ways, it has its advantages. For example, no stairs to climb with the pram, although, come to think of it, a lot of women would tackle a dozen flights rather than a gangplank. The scenery is particularly attractive at this spot because, in addition to the beauty of nature, some of the loveliest girls you could wish to meet spend their spare time here. Dancers and showgirls from London's Latin Quarter who take full advantage of the fact that fellow dancer Judy Harvey owns this 84-foot barge yacht. The neighbours don't mind at all. Judy naturally welcomes her guests, but at the same time she sees that they decorate the houseboat in both senses of the word. If they've come to sunbathe, they'll have to work for it. We don't know if this sort of limbering up has anything to do with painting, but at least it makes it more interesting to watch. And for what it's worth, we pass on the tip to others in the public eye, like road menders and builders. Seriously though, the girls really do work, at least some do. Girl with the paintbrush, by the way, is Doretta Moore, 20 year old showgirl. In the unskilled line is odd job girl Janet Reynolds, 19 year old dancer who's strangely enough training to be an opera singer. Another surprise, if you thought showgirls were just dumb blondes, is that Judy's hobby is, of all things, sculpture, and she's good at it. The houseboat, converted in 1947, is actually over 90 years old. But Judy and Faye Laurie, who shares it with her, try to keep it as gay and fresh as possible. Still, you know what they say about all work and no play. So Mimi Pierce takes a little exercise in her stride. Now perhaps you can see why this yacht basin is so popular.